Austin Congressman Michael McCall is the chairman of the Homeland Security Subcommittee in Washington. He has some unique insights into this plot arrest. The congressman joins us live on the phone now. Congressman, thank you for taking time out of your day to join us. Well, thanks for having me. Hey, the investigation finds a mixed terrorists and drug cartels. Is this isolated or, in your opinion, a sign of something much bigger? I, I think it's a sign of something potentially bigger, a growing concern that, uh, you know, Iranian operatives would be reaching out to drug cartels to carry out an assassination plot. I mean, this is like something out of a, out of a you know, novel or a movie. But the problem is, I think it's real. And many have been discounting this connection. But And even though the Zetas did not participate in this, the idea that, that these Iranian operatives were reaching out to what they thought were the Zetas to carry out the assassination is really disturbing. Yeah, I was reading some of your statement that you put out earlier, and again, our local expert, and actually nationally and worldwide on this topic. If this plot was directed from Iran, it has serious consequences beyond just a few arrests. We were, I was reading your statement about a possible act of war. Tell us your thoughts on that. Well, we don't know at this point in time how, how, what, at what levels this was uh, conducted out of, but as the Attorney General said, it was basically it was, uh, it was hatched and directed from Iran. Uh, and we do know that the uh, Iranian Revolutionary Guard, uh, that this, uh, the defendants, the, one of the co-conspirators, was one of the top colonels in that operation. That, that's an arm of the, the Iranian government. So it's leading higher and higher to the, the you know, to the top level in Iran, which is very disturbing because, I mean, if, 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 the, if this was carried out at the highest levels with Ahmadinejad and the Khomeini uh, to assassinate uh, the embassy officials in Washington, it's a very bold, brazen act that I think needs uh, some form of retaliation. And, and uh, what that is, <clears throat> I really can't answer that specifically right now, but, but they, they can't get away with this. They're, they're running for cover right now, saying they didn't know anything about this. I think that remains to be seen. Yeah, you've got the Iranian government targeting Mexican drug cartels to carry out, in this case, high-level assassination, the reporting that we're getting, and now the cartels perceived as terrorists willing to participate. Is this a whole new can of worms for the United States? Well, it is, and that's the connection that you know, we've been you know, trying to get the attention uh, of, of the administration and others that, that we perceive that there is a problem here. When you talk to the, <clears throat> the Mexican government, as I have, they, they will admit that there are many Iranian operatives in Mexico, and they don't know exactly where they are. They don't have a real accounting. Yeah, we do know there's a, an Iran uh, Caracas connection in Venezuela. Uh, there's a large Hezbollah presence in Latin America. Um, and that's tied directly to Iran. So, but this is the, the, the first real strong evidence we've had of any attempt to reach out to the drug cartels. Boy, I tell you, the terrorists from Iran uh, combining with drug cartels in Mexico, that's a pretty a powerful, dangerous combination. Yeah, that is a nasty recipe. All right, Chairman of the Homeland Security Subcommittee in Washington, our Austin Congressman Michael McCall. Again, we know you're busy. We appreciate your time, and thank you again for joining us today. No, thanks for having me. All right, Congressman, this story is still developing, and we'll have more on the impact on KXAN News at 5 and at 6.